Hello my friend, welcome back to High Mathematics, really interesting algebra problem today. We need to solve this, we have 81 to the power x equal to x to the power 18. How can you solve this interesting question? First of all, I want to suggest you two really good methods. So the first method, take a look closely. For example, we know the rule of if we have power, for example, a to the power b all raised to the power c, it is equal to a to the power b times c. So we all know this rule or this is equal to a to the power c raised to the power b. Also know the rule of interchange so we can change these, these powers. So let's use these rules, one of these rules in our case. First of all let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Take a look closely. If we raise left side so we have 81 to the power x raised to the power 1 over x equal to x to the power 18 raised to the power 1 over x. So we just raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So nothing changed, this one and this one. What we're going to do next? Let's use this rule right here. So we need to multiply x times 1 over x. So we have 81 to the power x times 1 over x equal to x to the power 18 to the power 1 over x. So I left this without changes. But if you look closely to this product x times 1 over x, this product is equal to 1 because x and x we can easily cancel. So as a result we have on the left hand side we have 81. What we'll have on the right hand side? But in this case I want to use the first and the third rule because right here as you can see we can swap this power. So as a result we can easily swap these two, these two exponent. So as a result we will have x to the power 1 over x in parentheses and raised to the power 18. 18 goes outside. Okay, we have this situation and right now the second really important step. Let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 18. So take a look closely. If we raise both sides to the power 1 over 18, what we will have on the left hand side 81 to the power 1 over 18 and on the, on the right hand side we will have x to the power 1 over x to the power 1 over 18 and all raised to the power like that right here 18 and we raise this to the power 1 over 18. So like that I just changed this, these two elements of our product. And if you multiply it right here we will have 1. So as a result on the right hand side we will have this expression. So x to the power 1 over x. And on the left hand side we will have this 81 to the power 1 over 18. So right now as you can see we just separate our x on the right hand side and our constant on the left hand side. Yeah? So we have this moment right here this is a constant, right here this is our variables. But how can we find our answer because it looks like more complicated, right here we have like exponent to the power exponent, it looks like hard. But on the second side we can easily write right here as this 81 let's write as 9 square to the power 1 over 18 and equal to x to the power 1 over x. And take a look closely, take a look closely to this expression. Right here we multiply 2 times 1 over 8, 19, 18. So we will have 9 to the power 2 times 1 over 18 equal to 1 over 9 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And the main moment right here, if we look closely to this, we will have right like our x need to be equal to 9 because right here we have 9 to the power 1 over 9 equal to x to the power 1 over x. So it looks like 9 equal to x and right here 9 equal to x. So as a result our root will be equal x equal to 9. So this is our our first really interesting tricky method. But I want to show you the second method. Second really interesting method using logarithm right here. So let's try to solve it using, using log. So let's start to solve it. So the second method of this interesting interesting problem. So let's let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. So let's take natural log on both sides. If we take natural log on both sides we will have x to the power ln 81 equal to 18 to the power ln x. So we have this expression, nothing hard, just take log on, on both sides. Let's go next. Let's divide both sides by natural log x. If we divide right here by natural log x, from here we can cancel it. So we will have x natural log 81 to the over natural log x equal to 18 over over x. So I do like that. I just divide both sides by x times natural log x. So I divide both sides by x natural log x. 
by this expression. Let's go next. Let's divide both sides by x and let's use a little bit trick right here. So we can easily write this expression as natural log x over x equal to natural log 81 over 18. So if you look closely, you can easily understand this why we can easily use cross multiplying and dividing. So this is the very variety of this expression. Okay, but where hides our root x equal to 9? Take a look closely. This ln 81 over 18, I can write as ln 9 square over, this 18 can be written as 2 times 9. So as a result, these two goes right here and these two I cancel with these two. So as a result from here, we will have ln x over x equal to ln 9 over 9. So we have this this moment and the main moment right here is x equal to 9 because we have ln x equal to ln 9 and x equal to 9 which is completely the same so the one and only moment that this equation works is when x equal to equal to 9. So two really interesting method which one you you prefer with this natural log or this one this is it this is maybe easier method than this one because this is like tricky moment right here we need to know this trick if you don't know this trick, you cannot solve this. And if you know approximately the answer, you can easily go step by step to this answer. But right here, this is maybe easier method than this one, because this is more complicated. So this is my approach to this interesting, interesting equation. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.